Hey everybody, Draw Ninja Casey here. Today I'm going to be showing you my face. And um, I'm going to draw in this uh, new book I got from the Comic Con, the New York Comic Con. I went there about two weeks ago and I picked up this really cool book from, what's the company here? Uh, Poetic Earth. Uh, what is it? Poetic, Poetic Earth Journals. They're really cool, and it's basically for journals, but I, th I think I thought it was going to be a good idea to just draw on them and um, just kind of use them to keep a nice, uh, I guess, journal of my drawings. So today I'm going to go old school. I'm going to draw the Giver, the G-U-Y-V-E-R, Giver. Sorry, I just get excited about the Giver. Imagine if, uh, I would say, Iron Man and the Venom symbiote had a baby. That would be the Giver. It's awesome. Look him up. Look him up on YouTube. Look him up on, on Google and you'll see what I'm talking about. You won't regret it. This is Drawing Ninja Casey and here's the Giver. Okay, so I'm going to join you on this tutorial or I would say commentary. It's not really a tutorial of the drawing of the Giver. So as we start off, usually when I start off, I start off everything with pencils, as you can see. I'm using a number two pencil here. And I know that uh, that's not usual for artists because all, all these artists that you see on YouTube, they're always using these fancy pencils. But my son was doing his homework in, um, actually this is his bedroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm commandeering his bedroom. And he left his number two pencil around, so now I'm using it to draw the Giver. So he's contributing to the drawing by allowing me to use this pencil. And these number two pencils are actually really cool and really handy to use. You just have to sharpen them every so often, but I find that they're actually very comfortable to use when you are um, drawing. So a lot of times, instead of using the fancy uh, mechanical pencils and everything like that, I would just use a, a just a regular old number two pencil, man, and it gets the job done. So here I start off with the face. And it's going, it's looking pretty good. Of course, this is all time lapsed. <laughs> I'm not really drawing now, and I'm not really drawing that fast. So I wish I could draw that fast. My goodness, if I could draw that fast, I could like shell out like 12 drawings a day. Uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretty good. But um, yeah, for those who don't know, this is the Giver. He's uh, actually one of the first anime characters that I was introduced to way back in the day and by way back in the day I mean like maybe 20 years ago I don't know not not even 20 years ago maybe even more like, like 30 years ago and this character was so awesome that I just got I just became very obsessed with him so I would draw him so so much I would try to even remember how to draw him out of my head so that I could impress my friends I, I'd go around drawing this character and a lot of my friends at that time really didn't um really went into anime um so it was only i was only impressing myself <laughs> i met this guy who actually uh turned out to be one of uh, my, my best friends uh his name is leon allen and uh he's from england and he went to my junior high school so leon was like i would say the second best artist in my school because first best artist was like a guy named Philip Haynes and he you know he just blew everybody away but Leon was really good and I always just thought wow it'd be really cool to just like be friends with this guy because he's so much better than me and he just knows his stuff so him and Phil used to hang out and I made friends with Leon and um, actually Leon was the one who actually was uh, responsible for exposing me to anime because he had all these videos in his house and I and one day he just you know he asked me hey you want to see this I'm like, sure I want to see this and I think the first thing he saw me he showed me was something called Megazone 23 it wasn't even a video it was a comic book and it changed everything for me Megazone 3 it just had a comic book he had laying around the house it was the first time I had actually been exposed to anime and I was just totally blown away uh, about how the art was how different it was because since then, I've only been accustomed to, like, the regular cartoon stuff or the um, the regular comic book stuff, like Marvel Comics, DC Comics. But when I saw this anime, um, 
stuff, I was just blown away. And it was basically, it was a book, but it was anime cells um, from a, a movie or a show uh, made into a comic book. And they put dialogue, it was in Japanese, but put dialogue. And then he would show me all these videos and forget it. That was it. After that. All I wanted to do was watch anime videos. <laughs> so I would go over to his house a lot. And that's how I became really great friends. I would go over to his house a lot after school. Because he would always get these new videos from I don't know where. Leon always had videos. And so um, that's how I came exposed to um, anime. Now, if I, if I hadn't met Leon, I don't know if I would have been exposed. Well, I, I had to have been exposed to, to anime. But maybe not as... Um, viscerally as I was because he was always uh, getting the latest stuff so that was always good but um, I guess he knew the right people and so one one day he showed me the Giver on um, a videotape and man forget it I just I was just so obsessed with this guy because not only because of how the look of the character was but also because of just how dynamic the action scenes were in in the cartoon I mean totally totally new to I mean it was very violent for one thing um, because the cartoons today are I should say today are uh, but I'm speaking about back then they weren't very violent they were all American based and you know everything was uh, even if, even if it was a little violent there was always a lesson but with the with the guy <laughs> With the guy with the lesson was, I'm strong and I'm going to kick your ass. That's it. <laughs> You're here to cause trouble and I'm strong and I'm going to kick your ass. That's it. And I got an armor from alien technology to just do it so easily. So, and so that's how it, it came about. And having known um, Leon and Philip, uh, for quite some time, I learned a lot from from them. But also, the competition between us was also uh, very uh, pivotal in in allowing me to become a better artist. Because these guys were so much better than me, I was I was forced to up my game. Which which I would suggest to anybody if you're an artist, don't don't learn or hang around too much with people who are not as good as you, because they really can't teach you anything. They may be learning from you, which is fine. If you want to teach somebody, that's fine. But if you want to really learn stuff, hang out with people who are much better than you. It, it definitely motivates you to get better and um, improve your game. Maybe ask them a few questions. Just hang around them. Even their vibe, their energy will allow you to uh, get better. And and also your, your desire to be better than them or as good as them also will allow you to get better. But as you see, the uh, the guy over here, he's got three basic colors. He's, he's got this this bluish kind of turquoise for the main shell, which I'm working on here. And his um, right now, what I'm doing here is going and adding the the shadows with a a black color pencil, a Prismacolor color pencil. I lay I lay down the flat colors with believe it or not, a Sharpie marker, which comes in very handy. And um, I laid down the his sensors, those things at the top, I laid down the grays with a, a water, a water-based marker. It's a watercolor marker. Those are pretty cool. And now I'm going in to make up to uh, put in the shadows to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, make the drawing a little bit more three-dimensional, and just uh, kind of uh, draw in the shadows. Now the thing about this book is it's not made for drawing by any scale of the imagination. It's basically just a journal. And I just thought it'd be a good idea to just have a whole bunch of drawings in this in this journal because it's a really cool uh, looking book. It had all has all the clasps to close it and everything. So this was a lot of fun um, thinking about all the drawings I have in this book and maybe one day I'll sell it for like a million dollars. <laughs> if I become famous and everybody wants to know, Juan Education, what are you doing next? Selling this book for like a million dollars. Who wants to buy it? And then somebody will buy it. So, 
<laughs> I'm allowed to dream. Yes. Anyway, so I'm laying down the shadows, which was uh, a lot of fun. And now I take a, uh, a black marker and just lay down the deeper shadows. So solidify the, the lines, make them a little harder so that the, the drawing pops a little bit more, which is nice. Because uh, I first just made really thin lines with a thin line marker and um, just to kind of uh, follow the guidelines. One of the things about the Sharpie markers, on this particular paper, it really bled a lot. So what I would do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, when I was filling in the flats, I wouldn't use the marker all the way to the edge of the line because I'd use it maybe close to the line and then it would kind of bleed out to the edge, which is pretty cool. And now I take, I took a, um, an opaque white marker um, and just going and doing the highlights now, just a little shiny to make it, make his armor look a little bit more me metallic in certain spots. His power cells, which uh, that thing at the front is like emits like a blast or something. This this armor is like so cool. This this character is like one of the coolest characters in anime. It just I wish they'd make like a. Uh, a, a new cartoon series about it. There was actually a live action movie about the guy. There were two live action movies. There was one uh, starring Mark Hamill, and it was so funny because they had in, in the in the uh, on the box for the um, for the video. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. It was on it was on VHS in the box for the video. They had. One half of the face with the Giver, and one half of the face was Mark Hamill. So it made you think that Mark Hamill was playing the Giver. <laughs> so of course everybody's picking up the video because they're thinking, "Wow, Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill is playing the Giver," but it really wasn't Mark Hamill. It was another, it was another actor. But Mark Hamill was a pivotal character in the movie, but he wasn't playing the Giver though. But that was a lot of fun. So now I'm. Uh, showing you right here the highlights the highlights were a lot of fun because when i was doing the highlights that's the drawing starts to really kind of come together starts to really pop right there so that's always nice to see and you know it makes everything just come together so well so now i'm doing it's a bio suit so all those little purple uh shiny spots that i'm doing there is like the um muscle tissue of the suit it's a bio suit, so it's an exo shell with a uh, with muscle tissue, and and uh, like bio blast and things like that. So I wanted to put something at the back to make the uh, the drawing pop a little bit more, and also make it a little bit more action packed because he's kind of like running. So I decided to put like maybe a little bit some speed lines, like if he's jumping or something like that, and putting that in black and red also was. Uh, a good idea for me because it made the drawing pop and also allowed me to um, enhance the shines on his armor so we have a nice little background there to um, reflect off of. well thank you so much for watching please subscribe don't forget to subscribe so I can continue to bring you these videos and also please don't forget to subscribe to my son's YouTube channel Pixelator J thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day Bye.